In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today's liturgy calls us to reflect upon our materialistic attitude and the life that we hope for. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that putting off our old selves with all its ways, we may live as Christ did. For through the healing Paschal remedies, you have conf conformed us to his nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Stephen, full of grace and power, was doing great wonders and signs among the people. Then some of those who belonged to the synagogue of the freedmen, as it was called, and of the Cyrenians and 
of the Alexandrians and of those from Cilicia and Asia rose up and disputed with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he was speaking. Then they secretly instigated men who said, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and God. And they stirred up the people and the elders and the scribes. And they came upon him and seized him and brought him before the council. And they set up false witnesses who said, This man never ceases to speak words against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and will change the customs that Moses delivered to us. And gazing at him, all who sat in the council saw that his face was like the face of an angel. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. Blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. Please repeat. Blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. Though princes sit plotting against me, your servant ponders your statutes. See, your decrees are my delight. Your statutes are my counselors. Your response, blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. I declared my ways and you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me grasp the way of your precepts and I will ponder your wonders. Your response, blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. Keep me from the way of falsehood. Grant me mercy by your law. I have chosen the way of faithfulness your decrees I have upheld. Your response, blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After 5,000 men had eaten their fill, the disciples of Jesus saw him walking on the sea. On the next day, the crowd that remained on the other side of the lake saw that there had been only one boat there and that Jesus had not entered the boat with his disciples, but that his disciples had gone away alone. Other boats from Tiberias came near the place where they had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. So when the crowd saw that Jesus was not there, nor his disciples, they themselves got into the boats and went to Kafarnahum seeking Jesus. 
When they found him on the other side of the lake, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, you are seeking me not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give to you. For on him God the Father has set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do to be doing the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, after the death of Jesus, disciples of Jesus were very afraid. They were scared. When Jesus was crucified, they were crushed, frightened, demoralized, and they felt defeated. Their hopes, dreams, aspirations, everything went down with Jesus into the tomb. But this is not the end of their life. When they saw Jesus resurrected, Jesus Christ risen from the dead, when they experienced empty tomb, and at that time they were not afraid, they were not frightened, they spoke openly to the people. They confronted with Pharisees. Above all, they were preaching about risen Christ. In today's first reading, we see Stephen is preaching fearlessly. He is not afraid of anyone because he has new hope in reason Jesus Christ. He gives the hope of eternal life. He speaks about the kingdom of God. Jesus echoes same thing in the gospel of today. He confronts the crowd who seek him for the wrong reasons. They seek him for bread for their meal. In other words, their approach is purely materialistic. Jesus tells them to hope for higher things, for eternal life, to hope to go to heaven and to have that heavenly bread. What about you and me, my dear brothers and sisters? What do we hunger for? In olden days, people were hungry. They were not getting enough food. So they would fight for their hunger. But these days we have enough food. Sometimes we waste it. But these days our hungers are different kind, kind of. What do we hunger for? For luxurious things, for gadgets, for expensive gadgets. To have our name in the world, on the social media, this is our hunger today. But as a Christian, we are called to have hunger for the bread of heaven, of that heavenly bread, of that heavenly Jesus Christ, heavenly Father. Do we hope for that? Do we hunger for that bread? These days, our children also they are having holidays, but how do they spend their holidays? Do they spend reading Bible, reading Word of God? Do they have hunger to go to church and spend time? Or do they have hunger to waste their time on gadgets, on mobile, on television? How do we spend our time these days? 
with lord or with materialistic things let us pray as we are praying online and i invite you to pray for for that hunger that jesus christ may give gives us that hunger and we may hope for the eternal life blessed are you lord god of all creation for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of our human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed, blessed be god, god forever. forever Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through this for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of our human hands it will become a spiritual drink blessed, blessed be God, be God, forever. God forever pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands, hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church may our praise rise up to you o lord together with the sacrificial offerings so that purified by your graciousness we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you o lord but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when christ our passover has been sacrificed he never ceases to offer himself for us but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you he is the sacrificial victim who dies no more the lamb once slain who lives forever therefore overcome with paschal joy every land every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of holiness. Make this holy. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Oswald our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. 
let us offer each other the sign of peace Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you, to come spiritually into my soul to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever O Jesus living in Mary come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness in the fullness of your power in the communion of your mysteries in the perfection of your ways O divine guest Give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restored us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of the Paschal Sacrament and poured into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.